Hello, welcome to another Total Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, I'm Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today, uh, it's called Riffing on Dupree, Landscape Number One. I, uh, I've done this very small mini painting based on a very, very tiny uh, Dupree uh, scene I found probably a while back. Um, no idea what the title of his painting is. Um, it doesn't really matter though because I took so many liberties with it um, color wise, design wise, etc. Um, and I have to say I'm, I'm super pleased with the way it turned out and uh, one of the great things I thought about the mini project I'm working on is that it gives me opportunity to make small not even really studies because this is how I see it like if you got the sheet music of a song, you know, you would play the song, but it may not be, the tempo would be different. Um, you might leave parts out, you know, you might repeat parts, you might do all sorts of things. So it's really more that sort of approach. And it's so uh, popular and prevalent in music to do cover songs, but um, not so much with uh, art and painting. And so that's what this is. It's a cover song of a Dupree yeah and i'm really pleased with the way it came out hopefully you are too and uh you'll enjoy watching it so we're working on some hardboard here and it's been prepped with two coats of transparent gesso uh we're doing our underpainting uh slash drawing here with um burnt umber and <clears throat> the entire painting process which you can see live in the members area along with the reference image and the color mixing session uh, about an hour and 20 minutes or so um, so uh, and what's great is like if you're sort of time challenged but you want to learn more about how I put paintings together that's a great place to do it the members area yeah um, I will say though if you're not a member I still appreciate the heck out of you I know you have a lot of uh, different things you could be watching you know um, if you go to the corresponding blog post uh, for this video um, on my website, you'll see you'll see the Jules Dupree image there. And in some cases, I am um, I'm going to be doing that. So uh, it looks quite a bit different. Um, the the main thing um, that's different: the composition is very similar. I kept a lot of his aspects, but my color is bright and fresh and way more modern so uh, it's not to say his wasn't maybe um, back in the day you could tell that this was like kind of a dark um, kind of cracked um, painting maybe it was from an auction site although if it was I maybe would have had a title or something I, I don't know you know um, anyway uh, I, I liked it and um, uh, one of the things I really love there's a couple of other ones like uh, in the same um, sort of uh, you know style um, based on uh, the work of Leon Riche and uh, oh by the way this is Dupree, Dupre, not Dupree so sorry I know I'm going to get corrected maybe I won't but it's Dupre yeah, I get it I get it um, it's great to um, basically so composition if you think well what is composition well composition is a word that's used in music as well like a it's called a musical composition and what is composition well it's the structure right it's the beginning uh, the intro the verse the pre-chorus uh, <clears throat> the chorus or the hook the bridge um, the order of these the length of these they, they determine the composition the key of the song, the chords, everything goes into that. In the painting, of course, we have um, the placement of the trees, um, the placement of all of the elements in the painting, of the proportion of the painting, uh, which could be an equivalent for the length of a song, if you think about it, like a smaller painting would might be like a shorter song, right? I don't know. I, I, I'm stressing the analogy. <laughs> anyway, it's... Um, What's neat is being able to just like borrow a, a, a set of a, a, a very clever little configuration of trees. Um, in many cases, I throw out the sky. Um, I'm taking a lot of liberties with Dupre's sky here. It wasn't 
it was not an impressive sky. Um, and in some cases I have reference for that or have composited reference into the uh, actual old painting using uh, you know uh, remarkable, remarkable modern technology. Um, or uh, maybe I just faked it. I just started slapping down some blue and some gray and I've uh, uh, been doing a lot of that. So I, I think this is going to be the second mini on the channel. I put one up this Sunday um, which is doing fine and um, it's a nice little painting based on one of my reference photos so not everything I'm doing is like uh, riffing on um, a master photo but I'm basically creating a lot of minis for the upcoming uh, markets uh, here um, in what will be our summer season as you guys are in winter there and uh, you know just hoping to have some nice affordable things for the uh, the punters and uh, yeah, so uh, it's basically, uh, you know, also uh, I go in roundabouts with these minis. I, they can end up being like, I've noticed like the four by sixes have taken me a lot longer than this is a three and a half by five. Um, uh, in the two cases I've done four by sixes, uh, but they had some tricky things in the composition, um, things I got hung up on and uh, I try not to get hung up on anything. I try to just put it down, get it done, and move on. I mean, it's a very small painting, so getting all fiddly with things is not a good recipe for success. Now, um, my book is basically done. I have talked to a bit about that on the channel. I am looking at um, options. Um, I am it actually not not completely done because I'm I'm going through through the final pass uh, with the editor. Um, just to catch any small egregious things that we've missed. Um, and I'll, I'll most likely be making that available as a PDF on my site and uh, promoting the heck out of it so that anybody that has an interest in what I do um, will at long last, after years of uh, people saying, how come you ever talk about this? Or how come you ever talk about that? And In which the case is I may have 40, 40 videos where I've mentioned a certain topic but there's no way to index things, organize things. No easy way, I should say. <clears throat> Maybe for a different personality type, they, they'd figure it out. But for me, it's just, I don't know. There's, I can't even tell how many videos are on the channel. I think it's seven or 800. YouTube doesn't make that easy. They just let you, they show you a page of 50 videos at a time, and you just keep clicking. And after a while, you get tired of clicking. You say, ah, whatever, you know. So <laughs> that's what I do. Okay, well, I, I can tell you that. What? I'm going to probably do two videos this week. And that's that's just me. That's how I am. I, I'm really always, uh, really always uh, more interested in what I'm doing now or what I'm going to be doing than what I have done. Um, it's somewhat interesting, of course, to look at your work from the past and maybe compare and contrast. Every now and again, I'll do that. But... It's not uh, certainly not a uh, regular occupation of mine. I'm, I'm more in, like I'm in mini mode right now. I've got a big, big stack of things I want to do, and what I'm trying to do is just like, uh, oh, here we go. I, I know I talked about this before, but you've made it past the point where some people, most people, might bail. Okay, you're time limited, right? And you're really good at finding excuses uh, not to paint. I have to do this. I have to do that. Well, this little painting, like I said, took me an hour 20. You could do something in an hour 20. We don't have to you know, compare or contrast with what you would be doing with what I would be doing. But suffice to say, um, if you did do a small painting and it took you an hour and 20 minutes, um, you'd have a small painting. You'd have something to show for your time. Um, instead of nothing, you know, or very little. Um, and that certainly is a good feeling, isn't it? You know, um, the, regardless of whether you sell the work or people like the work or whether it's a good painting or not, is really almost beside the point of the fact that you had some time and you made something. And at the end of the day, I think that's really what we're supposed to be doing here. We're all supposed to be making stuff. Uh, this is not a channel for shoemakers, you know, or auto mechanics or musicians. It's a channel for painters and people that appreciate painting and learning about painting. 
Um, so my advice to you is to get some small boards and have a similar approach. You can riff on the master. You don't have to copy everything he did. You can just do your own thing, you know, with a credit, uh, with a accreditation. You know, I would uh, be uh, putting on the back that this was influenced and inspired by Jules Dupre. Um, it's very, it's never actually that I will do something like this and not give some sort of attribution to the artist who inspired the work. I have no problem with that. Um, one thing I don't do and I'm not into, I had a couple in my folder and I'm looking at them and going, uh, I don't think this is a really an old painting. It's some modern guy working in an old style, someone like me, right? Uh, and you know there I did some reverse image searching uh, you know uh, prior to maybe thinking oh, I might do a study of that or a little, a little a version of that a cover song of that <clears throat> but only to discover it's the work of a modern artist you know modern painter I'm gonna do that first of all I don't need any sort of litigious activities going down which you could open yourself up for um, second of all, there's a world full of old things that are cool, um, done by dead guys, you know, so that's where you want to do your studies. I, I know that people do do studies after my work here in the channel, and, you know, with attribution, I'm okay with that. You, you, you're okay. You can just say, study after M. Francis McCarthy, and you're good. You're golden, you know. Um, but if you think about it, it's probably better not to be, especially if you're thinking of selling that work. Now, if you're just doing it for learning, yeah, fine. If you're selling it, though, I don't think that's that's the you know really the best plan, because uh, you're out there in the in the marketplace, competing with the guy that was teaching you painting. Yeah, maybe not the best plan. That said, you know, if some of that happens here, it's a risk I run. It's uh, was uh, some some people might be immobilized by this sort of. I definitely have friends that have been immobilized by copyright concerns, issues, people's ripping ripping them off. I've actually been on Instagram and seen people who have made copies of my paintings with no attribution. And in that case, I sent them a little notice saying, hey, how about some attribution? You know, that would be nice. Oh, da, 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 da. You know, they said, well, at least they responded. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to go after them and be litigious as I'm not that sort of person. Um, but yeah just just to finish up you know if you're you want to make copies after people's paintings there is a world there's George Ness there's uh, Jules Dupre there's Leon Richer there's Camille Corot there's infinite guys that have infinite compositions you know um, that you can riff off of and do studies after and, and make paintings and be influenced by yeah and uh, you know it's all good Anyway, kind of close to the end here. I think this is a fresh, neat little painting. I like the way the greens are played off the oranges. Um, the sky, which is a little bit abstracty. That's one thing that comes into play on the minis. Things tend to be a little more abstracty because it's so small. Um, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this painting. It's kind of a unique little composition. Unlike something I would have done from a bit of, from a photo. So that's pretty cool. Um, and hopefully uh, you, uh, you've you got something from watching it and uh, has some appreciation of it. Um, if you did, feel free to support me in some way. Like a comments are great. I love comments. Um, or if you have any extra money, um, go buy a painting of mine. This painting will be in the store. I'll have all of these little minis in the store. And they're going for 120 US. And um, that's just to help me with that shipping because it's going to cost, you know. But... I'll be happy to send this to you. Also, there's a little thank you button there. You can click on that. Buy me a cup of coffee or something. Anyway, until I come back with another video for your edification and enjoyment, do me a favor. Do me a solid. Take good care of yourself, your family, all your loved ones. I treasure your family. Uh, I treasure mine. And if you're listening, family, I love you. Um, and stay out of trouble. God bless you and your family.